evening. Welcome to Hosanna. My name is Pastor Linda Fries, and it is so good to see you all here today. And our guests have arrived, front row seats, that's good. I thought I'd start out today with one of my favorite quotes from Martin Luther about music. Martin Luther once said, Next to the word of God, the noble art of music is the greatest treasure in the world. It controls our hearts, minds, and spirits. A person who does not regard music as a marvelous creation of God does not deserve to be called a human being. He should be permitted to hear nothing but the braying of asses and the grunting of hogs. <laughs> well, with that, I would like to welcome you to Hosanna and this night of incredible music, quite the creation. And um, tonight we'll be starting with the Hosanna Bells under the direction of Mary Gookins. Well, now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the St. Olaf Handbell Choir under the direction of Jill Maher. If you picked up one of their programs as you came in tonight, um, there's much information not only about the conductor, but also about the St. Olaf Handbell Choir. And um, I would be remiss if I didn't introduce one of the choir members, our very own Hannah Anderson. Yes. <laughs> Hannah actually got her start 
with Mary Gookins and her handbell choir. So um, pretty neat. And I see, Jill, that you also conduct some church bell choirs also. And so what a great start. And my guess is many of these people started at, with church handbells. So St. Olaf Bells. All right, that was Bravura, and that piece we just performed for you, it was written by Alex Giebert. Um, we love Alex's writing. We have done many of his pieces, and we're elated when he agreed to write a piece for us. Um, like all of his music, we found it engaging and challenging um, and really fun to prepare. Our next piece is My Strength is from Heaven, and although this piece is 10 years old, it was just recently published. It's both serene and lively and has a freshness about it. The lively section has constant mallet pulsing underneath while the melody soars over the top. It has a victorious ending. It's a celebration of Jesus' victory on the cross to cleanse us all from our sins, that we may walk in the newness of life and abide with our Lord forever.
Okay, our next piece is going to really surprise your palate. It is written by student Aryaman Joshi, a senior at St. Olaf. Aryaman has been busy composing while at St. Olaf. He wrote a very successful piece for the St. Olaf Band two years ago, and I was hoping that I could convince him to write for handbells. And I knew if he did, it would be a unique experience for the choir. While at St. Olaf, Aryaman has enjoyed exploring, exploring many instruments. He is a music composition and mathematics major. Piano is his main instrument, but he has also explored percussion, bass clarinet, saxophone, and I'm sure many more that I do not know. He's played in the St. Olaf Band, the Improvisation Ensemble, the Jazz Band, and the Handbell Choir, and probably some more that I don't know. He recently purchased an instrument called a Lumitone, and he asked if he could write for Lumitone and handbells. How could I resist? So here is Ariman Joshi to tell you a little about uh, his piece called Free Among the Stars. Okay, hi everyone. So, oh, I'll stand. I, I thought I'll demonstrate, okay. But <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna take some while to set up. Oh, they look like they're done, okay. But um, yeah, so I wrote this piece, Free Among the Stars. It is, uh, yeah, it's written for Lumitone and handbells. It's my first time writing for handbells and actually the Lumitone too. So uh, pretty, pretty awesome experience. The, the piece is just about navigating through a place where you're unfamiliar and you're not really sure if you don't necessarily fit in. And then you find common ground and start enjoying. It kind of reflects my uh, experience as an international student. I'm actually from India. Spent all my life there and came here f uh, just for college and had a great time. So um, I'll just like explain very briefly what this instrument is. So this is called a Lumitone. It, um, yeah, it's, it's an isomorphic keyboard. It'll make sense in a second, but it's basically just a keyboard and you can play a scale on it. But the cool thing about it is that you can play now that shape, which I had, isomorphic just means same shape. So I can use that same shape and play a scale in any key I want. I don't know what key that was, but I just knew it was a major scale because I memorized the shape. It's unlike a piano where you have to learn the shape of the scale for every single key you're in. Um, and the other interesting thing about this instrument is that um, it's, it's the greatest feature of this instrument is that you can program every single one of this, uh, its keys and, um, and make it play any pitch you want. So as you know, traditionally a piano would have 12 pitches, right? Or just Western music in general. So it's like... That's your regular chromatic scale for the musicians there. However, I've divided my octave into 31 equal parts. So that's really weird. So yeah, that was 31 parts, just trust me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, that, that's what I've done. So that gives you like really interesting stuff. Uh, for example, like, uh, you know, d it gives you different flavors. Or also you can approximate the harmonic series, which is which are a set of notes that appear in nature. So I really like how it sounds. Might be a little alien to the ear, perhaps. Really amazing sound. Um, yeah, so I'm just drawn to this weird stuff, and you can also play a weird scale. You'll, so these are all scales which you will be hearing in the piece, so hopefully you can pick it out. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, yeah, just to wrap it up. I'm actually one of the top 200 players of the Lumitone in the world. That's awesome. That is because only 200 of these instruments exist. So it's kind of by default. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you.
That surely has to be one of the more unique things you have ever heard with handbells. And it is definitely probably the hardest thing my ringers have ever played. We rehearse during January and we rehearse twice a week and usually I'll alternate pieces on each rehearsal so we can get through 12 pieces and I had to do this piece at every single rehearsal to get it into their brains. But thank you to Yabushi, that was beautiful. Our next piece is Simplicity, an original composition by Matthew Compton. He says it was written for a dear friend who exemplifies humility, love, and kindness. It's an easy level two per piece. 
Working on a simple piece is a breather, a chance to just emote, but you'd be surprised at how hard it is to play simple really well.
Invocation by Michael Joy is a very special piece to me. This piece was commissioned for us by a St. Olaf alum in 2016 who just said, I want to help out your handbell choir and um, commission a piece. And we performed it that year. It just so happened that the composer that I wanted to um, write the piece happened to be in his um, home congregation, the person that wanted to do it. And that was just by accident. It was very sweet. I had always admired Michael's writing and was so happy when, he was, when we were able to commission him. Its invocation is about the emotions we experience during prayer. Michael told me that after he wrote it, he thought it was very fitting that this piece opens with something called the singing bell technique, since that comes from the Tibetan monks and their singing prayer bowls. Sometimes when we pray, we can feel serene, thoughtful, grateful, hopeful, but also sometimes urgent and intense and angry. And I think you can feel all those emotions in this piece.
So there's going to be a little commotion going on up here. At St. Olaf in January, we have what we call interim, where students just take one course for the whole month. Many students go abroad during this time, so most music ensembles don't meet in the same way. In my bell program, I decided to use January to have a, interested students um, sign up for ensemble ringing, where they play in trios and duets and quartets. Um, I have three handbell choirs at St. Olaf, I don't know, 13 times three, whatever that is. Um, and I had 17 students sign up this year. They meet for a month, they get a skills session to start and a coaching or two from me, and then they meet twice a week on their own. I had four ringers from this choir ask me if they could form a quartet. They picked the piece they are presenting for you today. Um, I noticed that I have a ringer representing each year in this quartet from first year to senior. I thought that was pretty cool. First year student Katie Nail is in here. She is a music major from Brambleton, Virginia. Katie, wave. <laughs> she sings in Manitou Singers and loves playing the piano, reading, and hiking. Natalie, wave. Natalie Roebuck is a sophomore music education major from Columbia, Missouri. She sings in the St. Olaf Choir and has a campus radio show on KSTO on Saturdays. She loves moving in the form of walking, biking, and driving. Will Fecco is a junior. He's a voice performance major from State College, Pennsylvania. He is also my student manager and directs the student-led Manitou Handbell Choir on campus. And he interns at a local church with their bell choir. Um, he also sings in the St. Olaf Choir. He loves walking in the snow, playing Wii with his roommates, and says he never wears matching socks. You can check that out after the program. <laughs> and our senior, India Bach, is from Seattle, Washington. She also sings in the St. Olaf Choir. She is a history, political science, and women's and gender studies major. She's on the leadership board for the Political Science Honor Society and the Climate Justice Collective, just to name a few. There were so many I couldn't read them all. She is interested in both wearing and studying fashion history. We love coming into rehearsal each week to see what she's going to wear. Yeah, she always has interesting outfits and she is the spirit of this group. She is always organizing things like binner, which means bell dinner for the group. How are we doing? Yeah, it's a little bit of a setup nightmare. <laughs> Do you want me to? I think, I think we're good. So they're gonna play Claire de Lune for you. And I'm supposed to tell you that the name of their group is Bing Bongs.
Yeah, I think they are very brave. Uh, one wrong move, like one bell in the wrong spot can make it, you know, make it screw up for the next four or eight measures. It's, yeah, it's incredible. And it's, it's a very long piece. I've had some other groups do this during the years. Um, but this piece is, I think, five minutes long, and I don't think any other pieces have been quite that long. That's a lot of motor memory. They do have their music there, but they really have to have it memorized to be able to move around that much. So kudos to them. All right. Um, a few years ago, I stumbled upon the music of Elizabeth Peters, and we've been enjoying many of her compositions lately. Un Regalo de Deus is an engaging piece, almost like a waltz, with a few unexpected turns. The title means Gift from God. This piece came out recently uh, in 2022. During this piece, we are going to take a free will offering. We appreciate anything that you can give. St. Olaf is a very musically engaged college. About a third of all the students at St. Olaf participate in music. We have three big touring groups, the top band, the top orchestra, and the top choir, which receive college support for touring. But I really feel like these students represent the college well, as, as well. And so I think we, they deserve to be out spreading the handbell love and educating audiences about all the cool uh, things that handbells can do and all the cool songs they can make. So I take them out anyway. Um, and so we are very appreciative, and any help you can give, we travel in three vans and uh, have to pay the money to put those vans on the road. So, yeah, I think we're almost ready. Here is Un Regalo de Deus.
often ask why they move around so much. College kids do like to stay active. Um, but I'm on a mission to make sure that when they go out and play in these churches, out in their communities, different places, that uh, when their director asks them, can you play this, they say, yes, I can do that. So I like them to experience all over uh, the range of the choir. Um, sometimes, uh, during, sometime during the year, I even make some of the smaller people who don't want to play bass bells, like maybe there's a piece that's just uh, all malleted or anything that they can do. There are uh, people like myself, I do not like to play bass bells. They're just heavy and hard on my arms. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I try to make them all learn how to form hand on the top, which means when they have multiple bells in their hands. Uh, the next piece is an arrangement of Salute de Amour. Um, it's a Edward Elgar piano classic written in 1888. It's one of his best known works and translated it just means love's greeting. Elgar um, gave this piece as an engagement present to his future wife. That's about the best gift you can get, I think. Isn't that sweet? It's been a study in how to be more flexible as a choir. It's a charming piece.
always when you're programming concert, you get like a group of songs and then you go, oh, I just need like this one more piece. It's gotta like be right here. It's gotta be just the right, you know, some are fast, some are slow. So when I was trying to figure that out, couldn't find it, I checked one last place and found this beautiful arrangement of Sky Boat song. I am always so lucky in this choir to have singers and instrumentalists, and I wanted to find a unique piece to feature Will and Natalie this year. They have such a beautiful blend to their voices. This is a Scottish folk song. Recently, it was used on a popular TV show called Outlander. I don't watch that, but perhaps some of you know that and will recognize it. The folk song tells the story of a young lad or a lass on a journey far from home. Compton's arrangement is beautiful and magical. It was just released in 19, or 19, 2023.
This next one is a lively Latin folk tune that Brian Seaman has done a fun arrangement of. The title means, If You Only Have Faith. It's based on Matthew 17, 20. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to here, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. As in all Latin music, the rhythm is strong and central to the tune. Brian has used a variety of stop sounds, including thumb damp, where they have their thumbs on the bells, and ring touch, where they hit them on their body, and mallets, offset by rests and syncopation. It's been a fun and very challenging work to, or piece to work on. Thank you. 